Hello everyone and welcome to ABC of ECG.com. Thank you for downloading our app, our app Diagnose ECG. This video is about the explanation of this ECG posted on our app. Well, looking at this ECG, for one instance, you might think that this is completely normal ECG. Except for the slurring of R waves, which some might feel that it is abnormal. But let me tell you, this is totally normal. It's called as benign early repolarizations. We'll come over it later on. Well, so should we declare this as a normal ECG? If you have a keen eye, look for it in second lead that there is sh progressive shortening of PR intervals over here. See, till the extent that P ultimately merges into QRS complex. Now, what could this be? I know most of you must have heard about progressively increasing PR interval, which is seen in AV block second degree, Mobitz 1, that is also called as Wenkebeck phenomena where ultimately progressively PR interval leads to a QRS complex dropping in between. So could this be a reverse AV block? <laughs> well, no, this is not a reverse AV block, but rather this is a complete heart block. Let me explain you this pathology over here. This is a conduction system of heart. Most of, most of you must have known, uh, studied this in your curriculum. This is a sinoatrial node. This is AV node. This is bundle of his, the two bundle branches, and finally splitting up into Purkinje fibers. Well, if you see over here, any impulse that is to be generated from sinoatrial node, which is a normal pacemaker of the heart, has to travel through the atria first, then to AV node. Then it has to go into the ventricles and depolarize the ventricles. If there is a complete block in this part, the AV node, None of the impulses which will conduct from sinoatrial node will go to the ventricles. Meaning that the, ventric the atria and the ventricles, they contract separately or they depolarize rather separately. So if they are depolarizing separately, this phenomena is called as atrioventricular dissociation. Meaning that any impulse coming from the atria is not conducted into the ventricles. Rather, atria and ventricles are contracting separately or depolarizing separately. So, if you see a normal AV block third degree, it does not normally look like the ECG which I have shown you. In here, you might argue that there is no progressive, uh, no intermittent drop of QRS complex as seen in AV block third degree. Then, what the what is the exact phenomena behind this? Well, if you see, even, even over here, P and QRS are not related to each other. They are separately contracting, separately just showing up on their own. Because this is the evident, evidential proof that P is merging into QRS complex. If this P was generating this QRS complex, it wouldn't overlap QRS complex. Meaning that P was separate from QRS complex and it has been always like that throughout the long lead and if you had if you would have seen further the P would have crossed even further than QRS complex and then again the same pattern will follow then why is this why is this pattern seen over here and not in all complete heart blocks this is because the P waves and QRS complexes they are at the same rate Normally in a complete heart block, ventricles do not contract at this fast rate. You will see QRS complexes placed at a larger distance from each other. And you will see that heart rate is quite lower compared to which we are seeing over here. So in a usual complete heart block that is AV block third degree, you will see that P waves are maybe at a rate of say 80 to 100 and QRS complexes will be at the rate of around say 30 to 40. So you will see P, P, QRS, again P, 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 QRS, QRS, P, P, P. And clearly that would be evident for the diagnosis of complete heart block. But in this case, P wave and QRS complexes, they are contracting isorhythmically, meaning that they, are, they have the same rate Maybe P wave has a little faster rate compared to QRS complex, but they are almost isorhythmic. Hence, we, we call this condition as isorhythmic AV dissociation, which is as a result of complete heart block. 
so now if you want to diagnose such an ecg in future just note for progressive decrease in pr interval this is one of the rarest ecgs you will see and usually you won't see in the practice but if you see one definitely you could answer it next time i hope you had fun thank you for watching